So now that we've gone through our scenarios, I really want to switch gears a little bit and talk about the regulatory landscape. This is where the update really comes into play in this webinar because there have been significant regulatory changes um, in the past several months. So we're going to go way back to January of 2021 where the Office of Civil Rights or the OCR first published uh, an NPRM or a notice of proposed rulemaking to modify the HIPAA privacy rule, okay? So just so you understand the process, once a notice is posted, there is a public comment period during which, just as it sounds, the public comments on this proposed legislation. Uh, and though this proposed rulemaking has gone through two public comment periods, though still never been codified into law. So we are expecting to see some additional updates to HIPAA. But then again, in November of 22, the OCR this time in coordination with the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration or SAMHSA issued an NPRM to revise the regulations around confidentiality of substance use disorder treatment records or SUD treatment records. And that was signed into rule uh, in February, February 8th of 24. So that now is a, is a new final rule that we have to abide by. We'll talk about the specifics in a second, but there's one other that went, um, that's been going on for at least the last couple of years. So back in April of 2023, the OCR once again issued an NPRM to further strengthen HIPAA's privacy rule as it pertains to reproductive health. And that final rule was signed in April of 2024. So we've got a couple of these brand new final rules that we'll kind of look at in a little more detail.